Ladies and gentlemen, this is a quick update as regards to the new programs that started yesterday. We wanted to let you know that we are very proud to have introduced this new SAT pack. We've had a lot of questions as to whether or not a person, if they've acquired a previous SAT pack, would it be necessary for them to, in a sense, upgrade to the current SAT pack? First, the SAT Pack Plus and the SAT Pack Prime are very much similar to the original SAT Pack and the Q Pack. Those are the two things we must bring to your attention. They are basically in the format of the Q Pack, and so no, it is not necessary for a person who had a Q Pack or a SAT Pack to upgrade to the Omega Pack. The only difference is this specifically is an exempt trust agreement. The other packs were not exempt trust agreements. So what we're saying is that these trusts come specifically with the code for allowing them to be exempt trust agreements for individuals to, once they receive the EIN number for these packs, to operate through that EIN number, the EIN number will properly be registered with the IRS. However, we will file the necessary documents with the IRS on behalf of the trust. We will put down the information necessary for the IRS documenting when the trust was formated. You, it is, we cannot give you guys tax advice, nor can we give you advice on any of the current trust agreements. The previous trust agreements, yes, technically we can. However, the current trust agreements, because they are exempt tax trust agreements, private foundational trust agreements, we cannot give you any advice either on taxes or anything else. Those of you who are wondering about the tax credits that are going to be given to you in addition to what you are acquiring, that will be given to you by way of transference. You'll receive information on that when they cure, when the actual bonds cure. However, as far as your having access to the tax credits associated with the trust itself, research will have to be done on your part. However, we're including the tax credit information for you to get started with that type of research. Everything that the trust does and what it's supposed to do is embedded in the trust and on the website. Our staff cannot answer your questions respecting the trust. We apologize for that, but in order for the trust to remain exempt, the so-called statute requires that we not give you any advice that could be perceived as trust advice or tax advice. And the reason being is because we are not designated as such an organization. So we cannot give you information on that. The Omega Trust, the SATPAC Plus, and the SATPAC Prime are all private trust agreements. What does this mean? It means that these trusts are not to be placed on a public record, comma, not to be filed in a court case, comma, and I definitely need to emphasize to people when I say comma. That means that this is in addition to the information that you just received. These trusts are strictly private. You will keep a copy of the trust in a safe place. You will present the declaration of trust, the certificate of trust, and there is another document that you can present publicly that define what the trust is, who the parties to the trust, and so forth. But the trust itself is never to be made public. You are both the grantor and the beneficiary. You have seen the information where it is in our current environment possible for one to be grantor and beneficiary. Because the United States government sits in a position of trust, they are representatives of the people, Nothing that is in this agreement is asking or causing something to be done that is impermissible, that would violate statute and or law. What we're saying is that you are not assigning trusteeship to the United States without cause. Okay? 
we will be facilitating the proper documents that need to be filed with these documents with the Internal Revenue Service. We will not be providing you copies of the filings. I know that that's disappointing to some of you, but again, what's been happening is that in the past when we have done that, individuals have taken our documents and helped their friends out and helped their grandfathers and mothers and sisters and uncles and cousins and nieces and nephews and dogs and cats and poodles. Poodles are not dogs. Sorry, just kidding. They have used that to help those individuals out only to cause damage for everyone else. So there are a lot of documents that we will be processing on your behalf and we will do everything in complete honesty. We will also be placing on any document that requires something to be under penalty of perjury and things to be accurate or excuse me, true and correct, we will say and or accurate to the best of our knowledge as of this day. We will add that statement in there so as to protect your interests and to protect the organization's interests. You will find that when you acquire the product, let's go ahead and uh, show you that I believe it will be this site. When you go to SACCOM, and this has been updated, and let's see if the updated page is here. It'll be just one second. So the updated page, what's happening is that you're going to see that when you come here, you're going to click on Our Current Programs, and you're going to click on that link to get to the Payment section, and you're going to see each one of these payment sections. You don't have to worry about it taking you to a different location. Each one of the three links here takes you to the same page, which is this site. When you get here, we're asking that you read everything on the page because it describes what's going on with this trust. Now, there's some additional information that was just added. This agreement comes with the added feature of a trust name registration evidencing a common law copyright, uniform commercial code financing one statement, trust EIN, and inclusive of it is the International Irrevocable Trust Organization. Now, what do we mean by international? That's the exempt trust organization. That is your trust. Because trust is also recognizable under international law, your trust gets to be recognized under international law when you follow all of the steps. Here is the other issue. We're asking if you want information to click on the links that are on the site. It will take you to the publications and information along with the information that you're going to receive when you receive your trust information. That should be everything you need in order to answer any and all the questions you may have. There is this process where you receive the documents. We will communicate with you once, letting you know that you are to turn in all the documents at the same time. You do not need to worry about getting a notary or what will happen is we will do what's known as an electronic notary. We have several notaries on staff those notaries, the prices included, will receive your documents, will provide the electronic notary, and will supply you with an original copy of your notarized document at no additional charge, at no additional charge. There is one thing that we do need to let you all know. So as a result of certain laws, tax laws, 10% tax will be applied to every single package. We can't control that. It is as a result of the law that was passed respecting the several states and international, I mean, excuse me, internet transactions. Each state said that they deserve to have a piece of that pie. Uh, since everybody does so much transaction online, the states wanted to get a piece of that so that they could take care of some of their budgetary uh, budgetary issues. So we also must, it's not a choice, we have to take care of the 10% tax, okay? 
we did see that there's a lot more features included with this package than with the previous package. However, the basic core of the package is similar to that of the, sorry, my mind is moving a little slower, similar to that of the Q pack. However, again, certain features that are added to these packs we will be adding to the other sat packs those of you who are previous sat pack owners we're just asking that you be patient we put the information online about the tax credits to help those out who have the previous sat packs we'll be putting up information periodically on those and of the information to further verify you have the right to collect these items we want to thank you all for taking the time to listen to this satcom update video and we ask that each of you have a nice day.